Hey everyone, it's Katie with One Music School, and today we're going to learn Old Church Choir by Zach Williams. Don't forget to check out the description box below for my website. There you can find more information about setting up a one-on-one -on -one Skype lesson with me. Also, there is a chord chart. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. They let me know that you like these videos and that you'd like to see more. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I love you so much. All right, let's get into the tutorial. So first you're going to need a C chord. Finger number one is on the first fret of the B string. Finger number two is on the second fret of the D string. Finger number three is on the third fret of the A string. For an F, you almost take this exact same shape, but finger number one will push down on the first fret of the B and the E string. Finger number two, second fret of the G string. Finger number three on the third fret of the D string. A minor, finger number one on the first fret of the B string, and then finger number two and three are going to be on the second fret of the G and the D string. A G, I'm using this G, you can use this G if you would like, but for this one I'm going to take fingers two and three, I'm going to pay, place finger number three on the third fret of the E string, finger number two is going to be on the second fret of the A string, Finger number four is going to be on the string closest to my toes, the E string. Last, you have an E minor. Take fingers two and three and place them on the second fret of the D and the A string. Now we have the chord changes and you're just going to strum down. And then after you strum, you're going to mute with this portion of your palm, I'll show you. So we have F, one, and, and, and then you mute directly after that. Then we have the same counts for G, one, and A minor, and and four and. One and 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 four and G. One and and. So the whole thing will sound like this. One and 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 four and one and 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 four and one and 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 four and one and 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 four and. Then there's a part that says ain't nothing gonna steal my joy. It's gonna be A minor, E minor, F. So we have one and and G. One and now for the chorus, if you want to make this as simple as possible, this is what you'll do. You're going to play F for two counts. One, two, C for two counts, G for two counts, and A minor is going to be on the end of two. So the counts, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and. Then you have an F for two counts. One, two, C for two counts, then G for four. Two, three, four. And then we have F. One, two, three, four. One and two, C chord. A minor. One, two, G, three, four. F, C. Now, if you wanted a different strumming pattern, I use this in the play along and I split it into two separate strumming patterns. The first strumming pattern is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. And the second one is down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. So how does this all fit together? We have one, and two, and three, and four, and down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, and then two, and a three, and a four, and then down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, one, and then two, and a three, and a four, and then down, down, up, up, down. You know everything you need to know to play the entire song, but now I've added a bar chord version just in case you're ready for it. So for a C chord, you're going to bar the third fret completely, and you're going to take your ring finger, finger number three, and you are going to place it across the D, G, and the B string, but that E string is only being pushed down with your pointer finger, the index finger, because if you bar all the way, you get that, and that's not in the chord. <laughs> so you want to make sure you just really, really lift that ring finger off so that you make sure that E string is just being pushed down by your index finger. For the F, you're going to bar the entire first fret. Make sure you're as close to the fret as you possibly can because it's a little hard to bar on the first fret. I understand, I knew. And make sure your finger is rolled onto its side so that your finger isn't tempted to bend 
when you bar. So it's turned all the way to its side. My elbow is pulled just a little bit closer to my body for some leverage. Ring finger pinky placed on the third fret of the A and the D string. And then on the second fret, we have this on the G string. F major. Now for a G major, all you have to do is slide this whole entire shape to the third fret. So now we're on frets three, four, and five. For the A minor, slide up to the fifth fret, and now you're on frets five, six, seven, but leave out your middle finger. Leave out finger number two, because that is your A minor. If you add your middle finger, that's an A major, and that's not the chord we want. Now for the verse, what I'm going to be using is strumming pattern number two with the bar chord version. So I have down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. On the second half of that strumming pattern, what I'm doing is that I'm leaving my fingers in their position, but they're just lightly touching the strings versus pushing down. That will create a muting effect. So I have down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up. And that's it. That's everything that you need to know in order to play the entire song. What I've done for the play along is that I have split it into two. One is the easier version and the other one is the bar chord version. Again, choose whatever is best for you or you can switch it up like I did. There's revival and it's spreading Like a wildfire in my heart Sunday morning, hallelujah and it's lasting all week long can you hear it can you feel it it's the rhythm of the gospel song once you choose it you can't lose it there ain't nothing there ain't nothing gonna steal my joy i've got an old church choir singing in my Thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Yay! That was fun. That was a lot of fun.